Normally, I roast the dogs, but today, I roast the owners. This is Sophie, and it's common for her to come in with a home hack job from her owner, Fernando. I have been grooming Sophie for many years, and her haircut comes with a lot of instructions. You see, Fernando is a peculiar character, who is very specific about his dog's haircut. Her body goes short, but her legs must stay a little bit longer so that she doesn't have chicken legs. It's imperative that I don't shave her belly or her bum, because apparently, stage 5 clingers are more attractive than a butthole. Now, this isn't the first time a client has asked that I don't shave their dog's bum, because they don't like looking at it. Actually, this is a common request. Instructions from his wife Lisa suggest that I mustn't trim her eyelashes. One time Sophie moved, and I accidentally trimmed them too short, and she looked at me with a face of pure devastation and asked, Will they grow back? Yes, Lisa. Hair does in fact grow back. Her face goes short, but not too short. And if I don't take it short enough, Lisa warns me that Fernando will have his way with her when she gets home. The instructions for the tail are the same. Not too bushy, but not like a rat tail. The ears are a constant disagreement between husband and wife. Lisa prefers them long, but Fernando likes them short. Somehow, I managed to remember every detail of this dog's haircut throughout the years. She's all finished, hopefully to their standards, and Fernando, if you're watching this, please put down the damn kitchen scissors.